Before we get to the various ways to stop Microsoft from spying on you in Windows, I do have to mention the fallacy that a newer feature in Windows called Recall is spyware. The fact is, it's not. This feature, where the user has to actually opt in to use it, is available on Copilot Plus PCs. It takes snapshots every few seconds of a user's desktop, then with the help of AI, analyzes them, making them searchable at a later time. There's been a ton of posts on YouTube, websites, and elsewhere calling Recall Spyware. These posts are either clickbait, ignorance, or stupidity. Maybe a combination of all three. To be clear, Recall does not send your snapshots or associated data to Microsoft. Recall is designed to operate entirely locally on your PC with the data fully encrypted. Those snapshots are stored and analyzed using AI on the device itself. And with that out of the way, let's get to the legitimate ways to stop Microsoft spying activities in Windows. A majority of the settings will be changing that are enabled by Microsoft by default can be disabled or changed in the Settings app. One way to open it is to right-click the Start button in the taskbar and select Settings. Another way to open this is to use the keyboard shortcut, which is the Windows key plus I. Microsoft uses your advertising ID to track your activities in Windows and passes that information on to data brokers and advertising partners. To stop them from targeting you with personalized ads, select Privacy and Security in the left pane. In the section Windows Permissions, click on General. Turn off the first one here at the top. Let apps show me personalized ads by using my advertising ID. To further enhance your privacy and get rid of other annoyances, I recommend turning off the other four here as well. We'll be staying in privacy and security for the next few coming up. If you use the voice typing and voice access features in Windows and don't want your voice data being sent to Microsoft, turn off online speech recognition. In Windows permissions, select speech. If enabled, click the toggle to turn off online speech recognition. Microsoft collects diagnostic data about your hardware components and configurations to help keep your computer up to date and working as expected. This is required. The setting of optional diagnostic data is sketchy, so I recommend turning it off, along with some of the other settings here in Diagnostics and Feedback. So select it. You'll see here for some of the optional diagnostic data they collect, that they collect data about the websites you browse, along with how you use apps and features, and enhanced error reporting. So turn this one off. In inking and typing, if you turned off send optional diagnostic data, it automatically turns this off as well. So it'll stop the optional logging of your keystrokes data being sent to Microsoft. Let's scroll down here. In tailored experiences, if you don't want Microsoft using your diagnostic data for personalized tips, ads, and recommendations, disable it. Earlier, if you'd had send optional diagnostic data enabled, you'll want to go into delete diagnostic data and click on delete to remove the copies of it from Microsoft's system. And finally on this page, in feedback, if you don't want Microsoft prompting you for feedback and possibly disrupting whatever you're doing, click the drop down menu and select never. And the last section we'll cover in privacy and security is app permissions. So here on the right, scroll down. You'll want to go into Location, Camera, Microphone, and the others listed here, and disable the permissions for the Microsoft apps and third-party programs that don't need permissions for these. For example, let's go into Microphone. The Arc Browser, which is fading away, doesn't need permission, so I'll disable it. And Microsoft's Feedback Hub doesn't need access to my microphone, so I'll disable that as well. If you plan to use Microsoft Edge as your default browser in Windows, there are settings you'll want to change to enhance your privacy. So in the upper right corner, click the three dot menu icon and select Settings. In the left pane, click on Privacy, Search and Services. Select Tracking Prevention. Enabling it will limit what data trackers collect about you, including those from Microsoft. They recommend Balanced. I recommend strict, which is the highest privacy level. It says here that parts of sites might not work. I've never had any issues. Your experience using it may vary. Let's go back to privacy, search and services. Select privacy. You'll see here at the top, send do not track requests. 
How this works when enabled is websites will be notified that you don't want to be tracked. Because this is unenforceable, most websites are not honoring these requests. Enable it or disable it, that's up to you. Below that, allow sites to check if you have payment methods saved. You'll want to disable it. While this is convenient, and while the data is encrypted, it also puts your cards at risk in case of a data breach or fraud. On the safer side, while inconvenient, I prefer entering the card information manually. And the last two here should be disabled for obvious data collection reasons. Help improve Microsoft products by sending the results from searches on the web. And the other one, allow Microsoft to save your browsing activity, including history, usage, favorites, content, and other browsing data to personalize Microsoft Edge and Microsoft services like ads, search, shopping, and news. If you've made it this far, thanks for watching. If this video was useful for you, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with others. Do let us know in the comments what settings you change in Windows to enhance your privacy. And if you're new to our channel, I invite you to subscribe and click the bell to not miss out on our latest videos for Windows and other tech-related stuff.